Hello everyone, I'm Grayshaw17 and today I'm going over the Co3 update, part of Steel Shepherd as well as its expansion. Now, again, I'll be very upfront. I got this from Relic because I was part of the content creator group. So if you do not trust my opinion because I got something from the developer who released this update and expansion, that's totally fine. I want to make sure it's upfront and uh, you all hear before I give my opinion. Now, is it a major update and more than they were putting on? Yes, absolutely. This update is a lot better, right? It, visually, there's upgrades across the board and the maps really pop out because of them making sure that when you actually play, uh, units stuff like that actually don't just blend into the environment like previously. UI's been updated, uh, settings have been updated. Again, the campaign's been tw uh, tweaked, but I haven't played that yet, so I'm not going into that. Um, but there's at least more difficulty options. I did at least see that. There's a fully working replay system. So that's awesome, right? And technically it should have more features than code two. I will have a video kind of covering that in the future. Uh, they've added new multiplayer maps. Uh, they've added a 1v1 and 2v2 one. And I believe in the last month, or was it a month and a half ago? I think it was late October, they added a 4v4 map. Point is they've added quite a bit. They've done some balance changes. They've done some additional updates, but here's the thing. While that's all great, they also released uh, the DLC, which is the Hammer and Shield expansion. And I'm going to be honest, there's some really good things about it that I like. But right now on Steam, it currently has a 31% uh, for mostly negative. And a lot of the player sentiment is very simple. Uh, this feels like it should have been the base game, which if Co3 would have launched in a better state, then you could very easily defend it. Uh, also, if the battle, if the hammer and shield expansion, you could buy individually. For example, there is, oh, sorry, there is a battle group in it, right? That is, uh, sorry, one for the Vermok, one for the Americans. Then you get a, a bunch of cosmetic skins. I think there's like 10, I think is what it says. Um, so there's 10 cosmetic skins you get for units, right? And usually they're individual units, like a Panzer or an infantry unit. They're not... It's not for a faction, right? It's not covering an entire faction. And then you have Air and Sea. That is a company that's part of the campaign. And my thing about this, uh, simply put, is the simple fact that it was weird during the campaign where you have the Americans with three companies and the British with two. But if you were to calculate it based on Code 2 is monetization, right? Where you have a commander, which is like three bucks, and then you, a battle group essentially is two commanders in one. So you're essentially looking at something like, okay, well, that's like six, 12. You add in, uh, let's see, the Ranger pack for our Dean's Assault was $5. So that would be uh, 17. You add the DLC, I mean, it was $2 a skin, but let's just be honest, put another five. So it's 22 bucks. So it's like, okay, technically, if you add everything together, it's $22 and it's only 17. So you're saving money. But again, it's that aspect of Co3 released, unfinished, and now you have this. The one thing I will say is you can technically unlock the battle groups with Merit. Merit is the in-game currency that is free. There's one you can, currency that you can buy, but you can unlock that stuff, right? For free. He, uh, here's, here's a small issue with that. Um, and again, technically you have to play the game, but it... Right now you get about a thousand merit a week. So probably for a battle group, you're looking at two months. If not, yeah, that's once a week getting it and grinding it if you haven't have gotten merit before. Um, so yeah, it, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you can definitely grind, you can unlock it, but it does take time. So it's like, or instead of a time, you could just buy it. Again, uh, I so I understand both scenarios and I think Relic would be, have been in a much better position if Co3 was much launched in a much better state, right? Uh, but they did rework the merit system, so they you do earn it a lot faster, and the challenges are easier. So it's not like it's hard to get; it's just going to be time, right? So, but I understand people being like, "Well, that seems a little bit off." But at least in Co2, or sorry, Co3, you can you know just buy it directly. Co2, um, yeah, there you can unlock some things with its in-game currency, but also. It takes a long time in that game too, so that's hard to defend. So 
I'm not saying it's 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 similar to Code 2, and Code 2 was not exactly, you know, held up in the high regard uh, for its system. So, again, I, I get player sentiment there. And I would also defend uh, the, this patch a lot more uh, if... I could play it. Now, uh, there is currently some major issues where if you play the current, well, multiplayer in general, you are constantly bug splatting. At least for me and my, the people I played with, constant bug splats. So there's known issues where apparently Relic knows about this. Also, I was still getting the bug where it'll say like, you know, this player is not is still connecting or something like that. And it's frustrating. At least you didn't have to restart the game. And I didn't have to restart the game. You just have to back out and rejoin. But still, that bug is still there and Hopefully it's not as extreme as previously where you had to restart the game But it's stuff like that when you play multiplayer That's most frustrating that will stop people from playing in general, right? Because if you can't play a single game without having to restart your game that will get on your nerves very quickly But again, there are a lot of good quality of life stuff, right? Updating the challenges making single player uh, better changing difficulty there making new menu new stuff like that Which by the way the new menu People are like, well, why aren't they doing, like, Perfection and, and with movie cutscenes? Again, Relic is probably still having Heart Attack after Co. 2, where they did a movie in the game. And a lot of PCs were having issues with it, where it would just go to one frame per second. I made a videos on that years ago, but I'm assuming it's a similar thing. Anyway, uh, I think that it's fine, right? But, it, and again, the whole UI, the whole system is very reminiscent to Co. 1, less Co. 2. Which, personally, the more it looks like Code 2, the better for me it is. But that's just me. Um, but anyway, it right now is a mixed bag. Because there's a lot of really good stuff they've added, right? It should have been there day one. But I'm glad they finally added it, right? You can't go back and change it. You can only say what it's now. And it, that everything you've got for free is great. The whole DLC, the fact you have to... Uh, the, the how it, it's packaged I get the frustrations of it but I like the coastal artillery or the uh, the coastal defense uh for the Vermont because it's a lot of Italian units which is fun and I've, I've I haven't played too much of the Americans but I will say it's also interesting right the Rangers and the artillery column and the one and the artillery support you can make that's fun that's some good stuff the Americans needed again I, I wish it was more of a complete set so the British and the dock would have gotten something too in battle groups. Hopefully they have something out in the next couple months. Because it feels like they're missing something in this. And again, I'm glad they fully, you know, fully realized the campaign. Good. But again, it's just some more quality of life stuff. Fixing the bug splats. Fixing the disconnect issues and reconnecting and all that stuff. Um, that's the stuff that's really going to impact long term. I'm glad replays are up. Again, as the replay guy, I am glad replays are working. It's just how everything came together, especially with the update, I get the frustrations everyone has. I, I truly, I truly do. Um, again, I, it, as someone who, again, got the DLC for free because I got the uh, original edition when the game released, um, I like the battle groups. I really do. Um, I have yet to play the campaign. So again, it's like if you can uh, play those, test them out. Hey, you can use like the, the all units mod and actually pull in those units and test them out yourself if you want to. And then see if you want to, you know, get the DLC or if it's something that interests you, right? Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. This has been Grayshot17. Going over Co3. Remember to submit your replays uh, for Co3 with this new patch and I will try to cover it. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, and before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, JoeyG240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, TonyB95, Epic Pleb, thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do.